Hey, I'm Sarah with Board of Fish and Wildlife. Hey, Sarah. I see you have something in your hands there. What have you got? So right here, I've got an invasive lionfish. This was pulled out of the waters of Dusky, Florida just this morning. And I want to give you guys a little bit of a tour of this fish. Um, so lionfish have 18 venomous spines covering their body. They've got 13 up here on their dorsal side, one on each pelvic fin, as you can see right here, and then three back on their anal fin. Um, these fish are venomous, and they can uh, deliver a really painful sting. They're actually a really delicious food fish, and we're going to teach you guys how to fillet one today. I have a question before we go to the fillet part. I'm going to actually come in close and zoom in on some of those fins that you were talking about. So point those out to me so we can give our viewers a close-up look here. Absolutely. So here are those dorsal spines like I was talking about. These are the real bad boys on this fish. We've got one on each pelvic fin right here, and then three back on their anal fin. Um, right here, these pectoral fins, these are actually not venomous at all. These are really soft, flaky uh, fins that they use to herd their prey with. Lionfish. That's on the menu coming up, and we're gonna do a filet demo. Thanks, Sarah. So right now, Jose is uh, removing the filet of this fish off. So the filet is all of that muscle mass right on the outside of the fish. So he's separating that muscle right at the spine all the way along, along the body, um, and he's going to kind of carve around um, the inside and remove it from, from the spine. And you had mentioned that the lionfish have venom in the spines, so the meat's perfectly safe for people to eat, correct? Correct, yeah. So the only venom in this fish is along these spines, um, on those, those dorsal spines, uh, their pelvic fins, and along their anal fins. So there's no venom contained in the flesh of this fish at all. Um, so Jose is filleting this just like he would any other fish right now. Um, being careful to avoid those spines, of course, while he's filleting. He's got his puncture-resistant gloves on, um, in order to in order to re reduce the risk of getting stuck. And right now he's just gonna rinse off that filet. He probably has a couple scales on there. No scales. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah. And now he's gonna remove the filet straight from the skin. So you can see how he just skims his knife right along the bottom of that filet, separating that really thin skin from the flesh of the fish. If you had to describe what lionfish tastes like, anything that comes to mind? Yeah, lionfish are really mild, flaky fish. Um, I would liken them to something like hogfish or um, uh, black sea bass, I think is what they're most similar to. Um, they're really mild, they taste like anything that you put on them, basically. So um, you can, there's a lot of variety and a lot of um, uh, ways that you could serve this dish. Awesome, that's a great tip. And what, Chef, what is on our menu today with the lionfish uh, that you're filleting? This is ceviche. Ceviche? Yeah, ceviche. You can do sashimi, there's so many kinds, but ceviche is just the name of the game today. So ceviche is a way to cook fish basically in um, acid, a lime juice or a lemon juice or something like that. Um, it's really a bright, um, uh, acidic dish, and it's super good as an appetizer. A yeah, great way to uh, please a crowd. spotted off of Florida in 1985 off of Dania Beach, and since then lionfish have really spread throughout the state of Florida, and they're throughout the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic, and the Caribbean. So I have this map behind you, and I'm going to come over here so people can see the, the time frame that Jessica's referencing. So you have our first map in 1995, and I'm going to come all the way over to where you're at, Jessica, and the present day. So I'm looking at all the red dots. Lionfish are obviously not specific to any area of the state, right? That's right. They are really in all of the waters off of the state of Florida, from the Panhandle down to the Keys. And they're considered an invasive species, correct? And why is that? That's right. They are invasive species because they're native to the Indo-Pacific. 
and after they were released here, we have the perfect climate, the perfect water temperature for them to really proliferate here off of the state of Florida. And next to you is also some pictures of some fish. There's a grouper in the background. Why are they a problem for our ecosystem here? Yeah, that's a great question. So lionfish really love to eat hundreds of our important commercial and recreational species. And not only do they compete with them for food, but they also love to eat those fish as juveniles. And lionfish can really expand their stomachs. They're really just a voracious predator. So they're eating the eggs and the juveniles of these important reef fish species. So it's really important that we get the public involved, right, to help us manage these species. So we're here at Lionfish and Removal Awareness Day in Destin, and we're talking about that. This is just one of the ways that we help to educate, right? It's a tool in our toolbox. It sure is. So the, the easiest way to get lionfish out of the water is to have divers remove them while they're out there in the water. Maybe they're fishing for other things, and they can grab some lionfish while they're out there. And so we're trying to educate the public about how they can be part of the solution so they could go to their local fish house or their favorite restaurant and ask to see lionfish on the menu because they are quite tasty to eat and that helps us get them out of the water. All great tips and if you're following our uh, event today, you'll see we're, we've got a filet demo and we had a chef come in and talk to us just about what you mentioned. But, you know, I want to go back to some of this invasion and how quickly they have spread lionfish over the last uh, 20 or so years. Um, one of the things that's always fascinated me about lionfish is that when they lay their eggs, they reproduce by eggs. What happens and how does that really contribute to the spread? Yeah, so lionfish have a hundreds of eggs and they form these gelatinous masses that float to the surface. So that's one of the ways that they have really spread here in the state of Florida is there's not a lot of things that really eat that gelatinous egg mass and so it really helps them to spread easily and rapidly. And also lionfish, after they start growing, they really don't have a lot of predators here in the invaded range like they do in their native range. So some fish are learning to uh, start to eat lionfish. We're starting to see them in the stomachs of some snapper and grouper species, but they've really got to learn to eat those lionfish over time. So it's super important that the public helps us get involved. So get engaged, learn about lionfish, you can go to our website, you can check out our marine fisheries management section, you can uh, check out our Reef Ranger Facebook page as well, and learn all the information you need to about lionfish. Anything else you'd like to add, Jessica? Come on out to our festival this weekend if you're here in Destin. Otherwise, you can participate in the upcoming lionfish challenge that we have and earn prizes to help us get those fish out of the water. Great. Thanks for joining us today, Jessica.